This channel supports Extra Life in its efforts to raise money for the Children's Miracle Network. For more information about how to donate and join in their efforts, go to the link displayed here. Extra Life. Play games. Heal kids. What up everybody? This is your boy Black Megas and got an interesting topic um, that has spawned somewhat from the Floyd Mayweather Pacquiao fight. Um, and it's mainly to do with Floyd Mayweather and the type of person he is and his character. Um, now, this isn't news, but a lot of people don't ha take a liking to Floyd Mayweather and the type of person he is. Um, a lot of people see him as brash, arrogant, childish, petty, and less of a man for some of the things that he has done. In particular hitting on women now my personal opinion me yeah um most of that stuff i think is spot on i don't think he's generally um that good of a person uh i do think that he's extremely arrogant i do think that the whole hitting on women thing is appalling it's extremely appalling there's no excuse for that Especially a boxer, someone whose whole livelihood um, exists due to the fact that this guy is really good at hitting people for a living. Um, he shouldn't. He should know not to do that because he could seriously hurt or kill someone that he beats on. So yeah, um, he's he's definitely not the best person in the world to um, understate uh, things. Now, where am I going with this? This is this is where we get to an interesting point when it comes to celebrities and sports figures. And I guess I'm focusing more on sports figures, but this happens with other celebrities, you know, other entertainment fields. Um, and some business fields, you know, political fields, what have you. <clears throat> I've always said that um, nobody's perfect and that to idolize someone is to be foolish because when you idolize someone, there sometimes comes a point where you realize that this person isn't as great as you think they are and you get a little bit of disillusion. Now, with some people, they're able to push through the um, moment where they find out that their hero or the person who they revere is not as um, flawless as you may have thought. And they start to step out there and they start to fend, which is what a lot of people have done with Floyd. I've seen comments like, today I read an article where Layla Ali, she made a comment where she feels like Floyd Mayweather is a broken person. Um, and from what she was saying, I agree, because her article was basically saying not you know it wasn't being hateful it wasn't being spiteful she was like i don't hate him i just feel like this dude has a lot of issues you know he does a lot of childish things he's an adult but he doesn't act like one and i feel like he has people around him who foster the wrong things in him and he needs to have someone in his life who's going to pull him to to the side and be like yo you can't be hitting on women like this. You can't be, you know, doing all these reckless things that you're doing. You know, she, she basically feels like he has too many yes men and not anybody who will come to him and, you know, try to steer him in a positive direction. And that's why he does a lot of the things that he does that kind of turn people off towards him. Um... And I, I respect that opinion because, yeah, he does uh, do some crazy, reckless things that, are, you know, have come close to destroying his career. You know, he's been to jail for his violence. Um, you know, he's gotten into it with people that he didn't need to. Um, had some situations that just could have been avoidable had someone been there to steer him away from making bad decisions but you know he like she said he has money and he has a bunch of yes men around him and i find it um extremely 
sad that one of those yes men, well, two of them actually, are his father and his uncle. Uh, I remember seeing this uh, clip where they were talking about him being abusive to women and his father was just like upset that you know someone would question that and he got really really upset that he was like no we're here to talk about boxing you can't talk about this he was so willing to avoid the situation and just like push it to the side and it's like yo dude um i understand you don't want to have this interview but he seemed angry that someone would speak about that about his son and it's like you can't be angry because this is a part of your son's history. It, it it's it it is who he is, and you know maybe and for some reason I felt like his action, his reaction, just spoke to me that this is someone who has never spoken to his son about this, and could care less, possibly, about the behavior that his son exhibits, as long as his son maintains his success. And that's a scary thought. Um, now, I could be wrong, and I hope I'm wrong. I'm hoping that his father or his uncle have tried to talk to him and that it's just a situation where um, it's unattainable because you can't reach him. Maybe it's just that Floyd is just that type of person, and no matter what efforts people have made, no one can get to him. I personally don't think so. I think that he a lot of his bad traits have just been fostered by people turning a blind eye who just because they want to be around him because he's successful um so you know it's crazy it's really crazy that being said this is the reality of you know celebrities in sports figures is that they're not perfect people and this is why i tell people all the time don't idolize them respect them for what they do and that's Pretty much my feeling with Floyd is that I think he's a great boxer. I think he's great at what he does. Person? As a person? No, not so much. He's he's not a decent person. But I understand that, um, you know, all, you know, sports figures aren't perfect um, people. Uh, you know, so this is where I come to you guys and ask you. What's how should we perceive and how should we receive these people? Because again, I think he's a great boxer. Don't like him as a person so much. Can I watch a fight of his? Yeah. Am I all that enamored to watch? Not as much as I used to be, of course. Um, because as I've gotten older and I've, you know, matured and plus as boxing has gone on, boxing has become less interesting. To me, on top of that, um, the appeal is just really not there anymore. Um, you know, again, I respect the fact that he's great, but I don't necessarily want to sit and watch um, Floyd fight as much as I used to, especially when he carries on the way he does. Because it's, it's just like you, I don't, I don't always want to support that type of person. You know what I mean? Um, but that's a decision I I make. There have been times where I've rooted for people who had flaws too, had huge flaws such as Floyd does, because I decided to separate the personal from the professional. And I think that's what a lot of us have to do is separate the personal from professional. Because if we let our per their personal lives dictate um, how we feel about their professional lives, we probably wouldn't have that many sports heroes out there. I mean, there's a lot of flawed people. I've said this all the time. As great as Michael Jordan was as a person, yeah, he kind of has some, like, shitty qualities. You know, the huge mass adultery, the gambling issues, things like that. That's a, And, you know, if you've heard people say things about how he's um, treated some teammates, there's room there to make a point that Michael Jordan isn't the best person in the world. Best player ever in the NBA? Sure. But he's not that great of a person. He's not a perfect person by any means. So, but I still enjoyed watching him play basketball. So, 
it's it's a weird thing. It's a very weird thing. Um, I would never argue with anybody if they wanted to tell me Michael Jordan was a shitty person. And that's one of the things that I really don't like that people do is when they defend these people. And that's what people, of course, in this article, the comments, they're like, oh, he's just misunderstood. You can't say that about him. That's just wrong. How could you judge him? It's like, okay, I understand some of that. But at the end of the day, you can't question some of these things that he's done and put a positive spin on it. Therefore, I feel like... In instances like that, you just kind of be quiet. You just let it go. Because, hey, you know, there's no, there's really no defending that stuff. Um, and this is where my whole just separate the professional with the personal goes. Uh, realize that these people are flawed. Realize that they have problems. Enjoy and respect them for their professional accolades. But don't get so wrapped up in these people that you're willing to sit here and gloss over some of the things they do. Like Floyd Mayweather needs help when it comes to the violence and things like that towards women. Me personally, I would be fucking wrong to defend him doing that stuff when my father used to put his hands on my mom. You know, so how how would that look for me to be like, man, y'all need to leave Floyd alone about that when I used to sit as a little boy and cry myself to like sleep after hearing my father beat my mom. That's not cool. That's not. And there are people out there who will do that. Who there are women out there who've probably been victims of violence who will defend this man because they revere him so much. And that, that's the thing I've always found so fucking strange about how we are. When it comes to our personal lives, there's some things that we wouldn't put up with. But when you're a famous person and you do these things, it's like it's okay. You you know, you could do that because you are who you are, and it's a pretty sick, fucking, twisted mentality that we have in society. Uh, I I don't I I've never understood that. Um, to be quite honest, you know, it's like, it's just strange. It's just very strange. And it's funny how we react like that way, like certain situations where it's allowable as long as you're of a certain stature, but it, when you're not, everybody wants to come at you. You know what I mean? Uh, it's, it's very strange. And, you know, that's pretty much what I want to talk to you guys about. Just the way that we perceive celebrities um, and how we react towards them, what we allow them to do, um, because we're fans of them and the things that we're willing to look past. Uh, it's a very interesting, interesting, um, topic. And that's why I just wanted to discuss it with you guys. Cause I've always found it crazy how we can still enjoy people who do bad things. Um, we can defend their wrongness and things like that. Um, pretty interesting. Pretty interesting. But anyway, as always, you guys hit me up. Let me know what you think. And I'll holler at you later. This is your boy Black Makers and I'm out. Deuces.